Lambda Health System is a medtech startup based in Y Park in yverdon les bains So in partnership with the Shuv Hospital in Lausanne and the University of Applied Sciences, we have developed a medical robot for the rehabilitation of the lower limbs. Innovo is very important for Lambda because it was the first organization who guided us into the Swiss startup jungle. Imagine, there are so many actors in innovation and entrepreneurship in Switzerland, and it was very useful for us to, to select and to identify what is relevant for Lambda F system with uh, Innovo advisors. We already have participated at two Innovo Connect. Uh, it was useful for us because the theme was excellent about regulatory and um, quality for a Swiss medtech startup, it is very important. The innovation comes from the robotic structure that is behind me, because uh, with this structure you have access to a huge uh, working area, and uh, in combination with this working area and uh, the, uh, the sensor that we have on the pedal, we have developed uh, a unique new way to interact with a medical robot uh, this is a mode that we have called the learning mode. This represents the ability for the therapist to teach a particular trajectory to the robot just by practicing on the patient legs. Um, this means that you can just learn to the robot and then can replicate it autonomously for hours. Uh, we also have developed um, some virtual reality applications. Um, we have developed different games that can be uh, linked with this robot. And the innovation is that it's perfectly linked with uh, the movements that are done by the robot. Uh, this means that the feedback that are given to the eyes and to the ears in the virtual reality world are exactly the same as the, the movements that are given to the legs, which is really good for the patient because this feedback, this feedback is coherent. We are finalizing our first clinical trial in the Shuv Hospital with stroke patients. And uh, after six months of trial, we already have some very good feedback from the patients and the therapists. And it's extraordinary to see patients progressing 20 years even after stroke. Now we want to continue to validate the technology and its clinical use. And for this, we need to produce more devices, more prototypes, and we are looking for financing for this. <laughs>